Why are all the writs for heavily guarded fetchers? Oh, it's you. Come to tussle with the ne'er-do-wells of the Telvani Peninsula? Hmm. Actually, I could use a distraction. This is for official business. You should remember how compensation works. The punishment of Luafen Romavel. She convinced those Kamonatong scoundrels to take Argonian soldiers hostage and forced the Ebonheart Pact to pay a large sum for their release. I'm here to ensure that her plan fails, and she never hatches another. You're a distraction and a secondary measure. We cannot let either Luafen or the soldiers remain in their current positions. Free the soldiers and do something to draw out Luafen. Sound an alarm, make noise, but leave the kill to me. With you providing a distraction, this writ just got significantly easier. Kimona Rune is just ahead. Are you ready to see what traitorous cretins like Luafen Romavel and the Kimona Tong can do? Well, aren't you demanding? She's an enterprising member of the Kamana Tong, a group of dark elf lowlifes. They believe in a lot of nonsense. The competitiveness of their smuggling prices, dark elf superiority, the security of Kamana Rune. It was her idea to capture the soldiers and threaten the entire Ebonheart Pact. Of course, she's the one I've been contracted to kill. Think about it. How would you react if one of your allies held your soldiers hostage? That's why I incorporated releasing the prisoners into my plan. Is it a little more work? Yes. But in this instance, it's worth the effort. You mean you don't know? Why come out here then? Very well. It's a smuggler's den of the usual unsavory dreck. Are you familiar with the Kamana Tong? then you shouldn't be surprised that they took Argonians captive. Captives aside, I expected this writ a while ago. It feels almost like the great houses were waiting for an excuse to send one of us here to Kamona Rune. All I've been able to gather is that the prisoners are separated, and probably in different buildings around Kamona Rune. They may even be guarded. Try to make as much noise as possible. You are creating a diversion, after all. Surprised, are you? Do you expect to find me in random places? I'm flattered, truly. Or oh, were you looking for me? It would be your turn to play the messenger. Ah, both here of our own volition. Good. I'd hate to have someone else's whims meddling in this affair. I suppose, since we are catching up, have you had more dealings with Nayu, or are you here for yet another of your heroic deeds? I have evidence to suggest that Nayu's in the area. I received a strongly worded note by way of some smitten fool warning me to stay out of one particular city at a certain time. I've studied her movements and manners enough to be familiar with her handwriting, and we collaborated on a few writs, you remember? Of course, but I'm not about to tell you. If you find her, it'll be without my betraying the Morag Tong. Her work is protected by secrecy. I'm refraining from shadowing her and studying her methods. Remember, you're my distraction. Make a commotion in there. skinned fools will regret capturing me.
these dung beetles insulted me for the last time. Tied up with trolls? I thought I'd be tied up there for ages. you know how inconvenient this is? Where is it? Oh, there. That gong. Ring it. She has to come see why it sounded. Ring it, and I'll introduce Luafan to my blades. <laughs> Intruders? What's going on here? Finally. I'll meet you outside. Free the prisoners if you haven't already. Those chitin creatures? Too many legs. Stendar, see you safely to your rest.
not the end of our tale. Heal me! No pleasure in killing, but I'm glad we're alive and they're not. Creature? Attack! I didn't mean me! Captured by a dark elf, then freed by one. Do you think I'm just going to ignore them? I don't care what you do, as long as you don't mention my part in it. I don't know how that sergeant knew about my involvement. I hoped having you free them would rid me of this inconvenience. Still, despite this unfortunate turn of events, I ended Luafen, and you followed directions well. Why can't both be true? I told you what you needed to know, but yes. I hope the soldiers would know only your face. Still, I promised you a reward. Take it. We should part ways before we attract any more unwanted attention. Now, it's off to Necrom for me. Don't be offended, but I hope I don't see you there. Not for a writ, anyway. You know which organization I belong to and what I do for them. Surely the answer to your question is obvious. 
I don't know the specifics yet, but I'll find more details once I'm there. Now why in oblivion are you worried about them? They're soldiers. They know how to fend for themselves and how to find their commanders. I'm sure they'll be fine. We did our part and freed them from the Kamana Tong's grasp. The root of the problem has been solved. If they talk about either of us, then this nuisance may become a much larger mess. And as of right now, it's a mess that I do not have to clean. We'll set off as soon as the feeling returns to our legs. Not sure what we'll say about our absence. Kamal's is the one who has to make the report. Feel bad for her. The faster we head back to the others, the faster we're away from this place. It makes my scales itch worse than bog mites. Hmm. Decisions to make. We were taken against the pact, but ruffians and vagabonds never care for treaties. I have much to think on. I must either lie about our whereabouts and say that we were lost, or tell the truth and become embroiled in potential political machinations. Neither is appealing. We weren't captured, we were kidnapped. Those dry scales came into our camp, stamped out our fire, and brought us here under the cover of night. They're cowards. They plan to ransom us. I'm not surprised an assassin was sent to deal with them. So that's the assassin's name. No, we had no idea anyone was sent. But I knew those thugs' plan would attract the pact leader's anger. I'm sure some of the great houses know what happened here, but Asher asked me not to include it in my report. You'd have to ask him that. I'll have plenty of time to think about his request. Those dry scales may have kept us bound, but no one ties our tongues against our will. Whatever my report, it'll be what we want, not what Asher decrees. <laughs> <laughs>